So as the title suggests, I'm going to be showing you how I made a removable LED string blade for a lightsaber. I have resisted it so that it can run off a single 18650 battery cell so that I can swap out the LED string for any of the other 12 plus LED modules you can buy from Saberforge since this will be going to a Saberforge lightsaber. Here I've removed the LED currently in the hilt in my Gladius and added in MicroDean Quick Connect plugs that Saberforge uses uh, so that I can swap out the LED for the string blade later. Just testing it works, this is the original blue 12 foot plus module and then the next one is going to be an indigo 12 foot plus just to prove that it works. And to check that it works as well you want to make sure you get your positives the right way around for all your um, microdine plugs you ever put onto anything like this because otherwise you end up with positive going to negative which will probably blow up something since you're using lithium ion batteries. So the string is made up of a ladder of 100 5mm LEDs to give a blade of about 36 inches long, which is a fairly standard lightsaver blade length. To make the ladder you take each LED and bend the legs as shown. I'm now using an off cutter foam board which I've measured uh, to make sure that when I then bend the legs they're all the same length. So you want this to be about 1 or 2 millimetres longer than the length of the plastic surround for the LED to make sure that the LEDs, LEDs are as close together as possible so that you don't end up with dark spots along your blade. I'd recommend they're using something a bit harder than just foam board, something like a solid piece of plastic or wood um, as this will make it easier to make sure each leg is the same length. So it doesn't matter if you have positive on the left or the right side of the LED, the positive leg being the longer one, but you need to make sure it's the same for every single one because as these are diodes, uh, the electricity won't flow if, it's, if there's a, a positive going to negative. So do this for 10 LEDs and then you want to connect them together as I'll show you in a second. So you put the legs of the first LED through inside and underneath the second LED and then fold them down over the legs of the second LED and use your needle nose pliers which are essential for this project to just cramp down on the, the bend in the leg there to make sure that it's holding tight. So connect all 10 of your LEDs together in the way shown. Next, solder the LEDs together to ensure a good electrical connection. And then repeat this 10 times over to get 10 strings of LEDs and test every step of the way once you start connecting LEDs together. This will make sure there's no bad connections between any LEDs and you don't have positive um, or negative the long way around. And also make sure your battery is right around as well. I'm using a pair of AA batteries here for all my testing, uh, which provide just enough power to light up the LEDs. You don't want to test it with the battery you'll be powering the string with though, as there's no resistors on it yet and you'll risk blowing the LEDs if you use an unresisted 18650 lithium ion battery. So trim off the excess legs of the LEDs except the ones at the bottom of each of the 10 strings and then connect all of the 10 strings together and solder them all together as well. So connect 
together and sold are the final two strings of 50. I did uh, two strings of 50 um, just to make it easier to move around on the table as soldering together a whole load of 10 strings of 10 would end up with quite a long string. So you'll notice my LED string isn't particularly straight. Uh, this is because I was using an off-cutter foam board um, rather than anything more solid or even a pattern or a stencil uh, to measure the le leg length. This is going to cause a few issues later but it's nothing too drastic. So trim off the last couple of legs, leaving the legs of the very bottom LED at the end of the string untrimmed so that you can then wire it up to the rest of the um, lightsaber hilt later on. And then of course test as well, make sure you're always testing. So I'm now running a length of wire down one side of the string for extra strength. You need to remember though that the more stuff you put onto this to strengthen the string, the more stuff there is there to block the LED light coming out of the blade so it's a it's a balancing act hence why i'm only doing wire down one side rather than both sides both sides would make it stronger but then there'll be more uh, mass in the way of the leds particularly the solder so then you want to wrap the string in some clear tape to strengthen it more i'm just using standard packing tape you can buy from anywhere um, i bought mine off amazon Next I'm using some packing foam to diffuse the LEDs a bit more and add more protection to the string. I found that about half the width of the roll um, was enough to wrap it up and not make it too thick so that, so that it wouldn't fit inside the, the lightsaber blade. Then wrap more of the packing tape around there to keep it all shut. Next wire on the resistor and the micro -dean plug to the end of the string. Obviously, obviously make sure the micro -dean is the right way around so that the positive of the battery gets to the positive of the, of the LEDs rather than being crossed over.
make sure you put a heat shrink on everything to keep it all protected. Particularly at the end there as that will strengthen that connection there. Um, as that will be under quite a bit of pressure whenever you remove the blade from the, um, the lightsaber. And it works. This is always a satisfying moment when you spend hours and hours on something and it finally works. So then slide the completed string into a blade. I've used an old thin wood Ultra Sabers blade that I have sanded the outside with 200 grip sandpaper to help diffuse the LEDs. Putting the string in the blade was quite difficult for me though because my string wasn't as straight as it could have been. I've put the blade into a lightsaber with a nano biscotti sand card in to show what that can do. As you can see the um, fade on, fade off and flicker on clash works quite nicely. Mm -hmm. 